Good morning, folks. We've got several key updates today. We'll look at the sun, earthquakes, solar forcing, and the magnetic reversal of the sun is underway. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star and we find the activity level slightly decreased. We had a couple filament snaps, but that's about it. No significant flares. The primary active region has crossed center disk and is heading towards the limb. We still have several plasma filaments, which you may see here is the thin, dark, snake-like ropes of plasma. The next space weather expected at Earth is actually from here, the dark coronal hole. It is spewing out significantly faster solar wind that will arrive at Earth in the early part of next week could spark geomagnetic activity. Seismic activity is up next. We continued to see earthquakes at the swarm location near Japan, but that was not the big story. Two 6.7 earthquakes struck Papua New Guinea. Two large earthquakes also struck Afghanistan, and there are casualties there. Mexico had one above average as well. It was a significantly active period overnight. Hopefully, it's quieter today. First up in the articles is one on how solar activity and various climate parameters impact precipitation. Interestingly, not only do they identify that the sun impacts these precipitation patterns, but the climate patterns identified have all been previously linked to being modulated by solar activity as well. Up next, an excellent review of the earthquake electromagnetic precursors in the atmosphere. Outstanding confirmation from the field that these electromagnetic signals show up days before major earthquakes strike. Last but not least, the sun's magnetic fields are reversing. Excellent article on spaceweather.com today. This is the signal that sunspot maximum is about to be in full swing, as this event every 11 years signals the peak of active region flaring and eruptive activity, and they are seeing the signs that it's beginning phase now. Kudos to Dr. Phillips for reminding us that while it is a regular occurrence in the solar cycle, these events on Earth have been linked to rapid climate change and extinctions. It's a solar-focused website, so there was no reason to discuss the magnetic shift happening at Earth right now, but a nice nod and reminder from the NASA scientists here, especially for those like observers who know what's happening on our planet right now. We are one week away from our next Observer event. Come see the Big Burb, chat with Rocky and me. Tickets found in the link below. We'd love to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.